I love teaching this course, and I tell the class that the first day, um, partly because of them. I've learned that they are really serious, and, and, and I have something that I hope they get, which is the idea, many of them took calculus, differential equations, survived it, didn't especially enjoy it. And I, I'm always hoping uh, that they think this, they see math, what math is about, and uh, how it looks for the pattern in a whole lot of different applications, often engineering, but many others too, science, economics, biology, wherever. Um, and uh, if, they, if they see the pattern, then they're really seeing what mathematics brings beyond just formulas, which is not what the subject's about, and, and, uh, and, but getting, getting answers and understanding. So one part of the course is the modeling, getting the equations, what, what's the structure? And the second part of the course is how do you solve the equations? Uh, sometimes analytically, sometimes numerically. And that's, of course, the reality of being a scientist or engineer now. Uh, so I, this course is three times a week, very typical uh, hours lecture, and a uh, fair amount of homework, including some MATLAB homework, because that's the reality of how people get answers. And also, of course, analytical pencil and paper homework to see the central ideas in use. Um, and office hours from TAs, because a lot of people haven't had linear algebra. They haven't had 1806 when they take this course. And uh, so they ask, do I have to know linear algebra? And I say, well, maybe not, but you soon will. Well, uh, you know, I think it's so fantastic to be able to have open courseware and, and try to do something beyond MIT. And so what am I trying to do? I guess I think that the teaching of applied math uh, has, a, has a big step forward still to take, that, that we, in many situations, we're doing what we did uh, a while ago and uh, not really uh, bringing it home, making the subject what it can be. Um, and, and part of that has got to be uh, numerically, numerical solution of, of, of the equations, and also new applications. Well, 18085, or really 18075, has been an MIT course for a long time, and uh, Professor Hildebrand's textbooks were the were used. He was a good, exceptionally good teacher, but there wasn't computing wasn't part of it really, and it has become part of what all users uh, do to get answers. So the course had to move forward. And the first step was about 20 years ago with a new textbook, a different approach. And uh, I have had a wonderful time teaching classes over those years. And now it's ready for the next generation.